Efforts to keep a dangerous drug off our streets appear to be paying off. We've been following for months the rise of what is known as bath salts, and now we've learned that the number of cases is dropping. Jordan Burgess live to show us the shocking new video that some hope will convince even more people to avoid this drug. Jordan? They would come in packages like this one, claiming to be not for human consumption when, in fact, that's exactly what people were doing with them. But if Ohio's recent crackdown on bath salts doesn't have people thinking twice about using them, maybe this new video will. What is wrong with you? It may look like the latest zombie movie to hit theaters, but this video has a reason to try to scare you. Paranoia, people being... Um, violent that haven't been violent in the past. Those are what some describe as the effects of the drugs known as bath salts. The frightening hallucinations are what this video put out by U.S. Navy Medicine is trying to capture. The video comes as Ohio continues to crack down on bath salts. A law passed a few weeks ago bans any substances similar to bath salts, so manufacturers can't get around the original ban. The change appears to be having an impact here. Those at the Miami Valley Regional Crime Lab say the number of designer drug cases they see has fallen from about 50 a week to 10. Some of it is legislation based and some of it is user based where they're using the drug, they're not liking the effects or they're seeing the, the uh, stories in the media about how dangerous they are. Raids on stores that sell bath salts like this one in Riverside this spring have also helped dry up the supply. A lot of the uh, convenience stores that were probably selling them have, have backed off a little bit as well. But those at the crime lab say some are already trying to skirt the tougher laws with new drugs. That's why seeing the consequences can still be eye-opening. <laughs> And if you'd like to see the entire video put out by U.S. Navy Medicine, just visit our website, WDTN.com, and look for web links on the homepage. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.